factory at Gasland, a flammable faucet there, among other things. Uh, we're diving into this controversial issue. Joining us live from New York is the director of Gasland, Josh Fox. And from D.C., we have Chris Tucker, spokesman for Energy In-Depth, the coalition representing oil and natural gas producers. So, Josh, let me begin with you. What prompted you to put this documentary together, Gasland, and go the direction that you went? Right. Well, I never had any intention of making a documentary. My family was asked to lease our land for natural gas drilling. We have about 19.5 acres in the Upper Delaware River Basin, which is part of an interconnected watershed system which brings water to New York, Philadelphia, southern New Jersey. We were asked to lease, and the gas companies told us that there would be no problems, it was minimally invasive, uh, and, but the environmentalists were telling a very different story. And They were saying there was widespread water contamination, air pollution, people getting sick from this, and that this drilling campaign was going on over 34 states. Uh, about 50% of New York, 65% of Pennsylvania is over a formation called the Marcellus Shale, which is currently being leased. In New York, there's a moratorium currently, and in Pennsylvania, uh, there's drilling happening all over. Um, I went and investigated and found actually a much worse scenario than what the environmentalists were telling me. It was, it was a nightmare. There was so a give me an idea of all that you found. And all that you found, you're saying, is a result of this process called fracking, where this drilling is taking place, you know, so many thousands of feet below the surface, uh, this push of, of uh, chemicals and water uh, to try and get the gas to then, uh, you know, come out. And you're saying that among the things that you located were people who talked about, say, the water uh, that was very smelly or full of gaseous material, just like we saw in that one portion, as well as people who said they were literally getting sick. Yeah. Hydraulic fracturing injects uh, two to seven million gallons of water laced with toxic fluids, what's called fracking fluids. It can be up to 596 different chemicals in there. And somehow these chemicals are turning up in people's water wells, uh, as well as the, the uh, thing of flammable water, which you saw there on the television uh, as a clip from our film. We heard reports of flammable water all over the place, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. Colorado, Wyoming, Texas, even as far as Australia, where there's a lot of mm -hmm. fracking going on. So this is obviously something we, we, we saw in every place that I went. Mm -hmm. Uh, there were these problems and, and landowners feeling like they'd gotten a raw deal like they didn't they weren't aware that this was going to happen and that their property was unsaleable after their water was contaminated and obviously if you have such a huge area of the country my concern is with our fresh water supply um, to do this much onshore drilling uh, for natural gas and, and with this many problems that I'm seeing um, with a relatively new process, uh, I, I definitely think that, that you have to put the pause button on this one because and Josh, there's no rewind. You and can't. Josh, this too from your documentary, just take a look, um, viewers, if you will, at this portion from this documentary, Gasland. And this is a woman who talks about not just humans are getting sick, but house pets as well. Take a look. Sorry, we don't come outside. Their hair was falling out. See how she's gone. We want it for cats with projectile vomiting. We have three cats that it's happening to. And then when you said this to the DEP, what did they tell you? They told me I clean with too much Lysol. Uh -huh. And I told one of Cabot's attorneys about it, and he told me that it comes from telephone poles. So has the cat been out playing with the telephone poles? The cat doesn't go outside ever. <laughs> All right, Chris, uh, joining us now, Chris Tucker with Energy In-Depth. So you don't buy this premise, and you don't necessarily buy what Gasland is telling people. Why? Right, Federico. Well, fundamentally, we're talking about a process in hydraulic fracturing that's been used now for 60 years. It's been in commercial service for 60 years. It's not new. It's not unregulated. It's not exotic. It's been used all over the place 1.1 million times. And as recently as a couple months ago, uh, when the U.S. Senate, uh, U.S excuse me, the U.S. Senate committee asked uh, top administrators over at EPA if they could identify a single case of groundwater contamination associated with hydraulic fracturing. The answer is not one. So not. The new, but the newness is not being disputed here. It's this personal testimony of people from the visuals right there of someone who's, you know, got his lighter and the gas or the water uh, clearly has some kind of gas in it where it ignites to the woman who talks about her pets getting sick. So that's what is in question well, here in your view. Sure. That you don't believe that legitimately people can possibly be getting sick from water that's contaminated because of fracking. The process. Right, well, the, the interesting thing is that the, the gentleman that was in the film, uh, in fact being shown right now with the flammable faucet, um, uh, that gentleman, uh, Colorado, right, he's from Colorado, the regulators went out to that well, did, did surveys of it, did the research, collected data, 
con con uh, came forward with a conclusion that that natural gas was actually biogenic in nature. And if you go to our webpage, energyindepth.org, you'd find the email that they were sending and the, the report that they, they filed. Um, biogenic means naturally occurring. Um, and so, you know, I, I think uh, that report was widely known, and, and it, was, it's a very, it was available before that movie came out. And I think if, if the, the director was looking to give an even-handed account of actually what was happening, the reality of the situation wasn't reflected in that film. Oh, so, Josh, you've heard the criticism yeah, before you know, then, and you're hearing it again then from Chris. Um, uh, how do you dispute your findings? It's incredibly frustrating that the, that the gas industry won't come forward and say we know that there are I heard the same story in Dimmick when we had people uh, lighting their water on fire. The gas company spokesman said to me, oh, I have a manual on my desk from 1937 that says that uh, there's naturally occurring methane in this water. But then later when the Pennsylvania DEP did their investigation, they showed that that gas was from the deep shale layers, um, that the industry had uh, misstated the facts when I first called them. And I suspect this is going to be a very similar kind mm -hmm. of conclusion. The fact is that people on the ground all over America are reporting huge problems. And when those problems are reported, reported to the energy industry, and I as a filmmaker, I can defend myself here on television, but when the people out there are saying these things to the gas company, they're getting the same response. No, mm -hmm. it's not true. You're, uh, you're mistaken. That contamination is not from us. And I will add that this process has never really been investigated. Um, there, there was never a full inquiry into hydraulic fracturing, and in fact, it is a new process. They're fracking at so much, uh, there's such a, a chemical mixture that, that has never been used before, uh, and it's at a much higher pressure, uh, 9,000 pounds per square inch, mm -hmm. 1,000 gallons a minute. This okay. is uh, not uh, the old fracking and it's not the old gas drilling. This is something that th they were exempted in 2005 from the Safe Drinking Water Act by the United States Congress, mm -hmm. uh, prompted by Dick Cheney. And uh, when the energy industry so or the natural gas industry comes forward mm -hmm. and says these kinds of things, it's misleading and it's an obfuscation All right. of the truth. Um, Josh Fox, director of Gaslight. Of course, people can watch on HBO. And quickly, Chris Tucker, before I let you go with Energy In Depth, do you see whether you dispute or whether you agree with Gaslight? Do you see that? The release of this documentary just might mean uh, some of the regulations on this type of drilling might be re-examined as a result. Just quickly, in a yes or no. Hydraulic fracturing has been ag aggressively regulated for years, and on the state level, never was covered under the Safe Drinking Water Act. Josh is misstating the facts on that as well. So yes or no, uh, do you see that there would be a re-evaluation of regulation or examining whether this is a process that works? Uh, there's a re-evaluation re re going on right now. EPA is okay. actually taking a look at it again. Seven, All right. Five, Chris Tucker, Energy In-Depth, Josh Fox, director of Gasland, and it premieres on HBO on Monday night, I understand. Gasland. Thanks so much, gentlemen, to both of you. Yeah, thanks so much.